Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another amazing recipe as usual. Today, I'm showing you guys how to make this bomb, cheesy baked spaghetti i hope you guys ready for this don't forget to give the video a like for me if you enjoy it subscribe if you're new and let's begin here are the list of all the ingredients i will have them below for you guys i am using spaghetti ground beef pasta sauce mozzarella cheese minced garlic and to season i'm using italian seasoning seasoned salt seasoned pepper pepper flakes creole seasoning with some onion powder shall we begin let's get started first thing first you guys know i have to boil the pasta to boil the pasta i am going to add water to a saucepan make sure to add some salt to it cover it and let it come to a boil once it starts boiling, I am going to place my spaghetti right in there. Also, you can follow the packaging on how to boil your pasta. Next, we're going to cover the pasta and let it boil until it's al dente, which usually takes about seven to 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook the pasta because it's going to bake more in the oven. Now my pasta is nice and al dente. I am going to remove the pasta from the hot water because you don't want to uh, let the pasta continue to cook in the hot water. Moving on, I am going to start by cooking my minced garlic. I forgot to mention, you will need about one tablespoon of olive oil to cook your garlic and your onion and your bell peppers. As soon as my garlic started to fragrance, I am going to add in the onion as well as the bell peppers. We're going to saute them for about two to three minutes until they're nice and tender. Next, we'll be adding in the ground beef. Now I'm going to add in my ground beef right in there and don't season your ground beef yet. You want to wait until your ground beef no longer pink, okay, before you start adding the seasoning in. Now, if you notice my ground beef look a little strange, the color is because it was in the freezer, okay guys? So yeah, we're going to stir it until my ground beef beef is nice and cooked it's no longer pink it's nice and gray then i'll be adding in my seasoning now we're going to add in the seasoning this seasoning combination is the perfect when i tell you it's the perfect seasoning for this recipe because the flavor that comes as soon as you add the seasoning in you shall smell the aroma in your kitchen it smells so awesome the italian seasoning if you guys don't know there's thyme basil oregano all that good herbs in there Ugh, so 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 flavorful now i'm going in with my pasta sauce just add it in there and i will leave a link 
of the pasta sauce that I use down below. If y'all want to use it, it is the best, of course. Um, we're going to add that in, stir it together. Also, I am going to add a little bit of chicken broth in the container that the pasta sauce was in and pour it in there. You can add some water, but I added a little bit of chicken broth for more flavor, why not? <laughs> Just pour it in there and stir it. We're going to let that simmer on medium low. Okay, medium low for about 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for 30 minutes on medium low. Once my 30 minutes is over, this is what we're working with. Nice and saucy, and of course the meat is nice and cooked, but it's going to cook even more in the oven. So now you can preheat your oven on 350. We're going to add the spaghetti right in there. Of course you can do layers if you want. Me personally, I like, I like the spaghetti to be you know, dancing and mixing in the sauce. So I'm going to add that in, stir it together, but you can do layers if you want. It, it doesn't really matter, honestly. <laughs> so I'm going to toss the spaghetti in, make sure all these spaghettis are nice and, you know, swimming in the sauce. And this meat sauce right there is so, so, so delicious. And of course you can eat it from there if you want, but no, no. We're taking it up a notch. We're going to add some cheese on there and bake it. All right. Now that the spaghetti is nice and well coated with the sauce, it's nice and swimming with the sauce, we're going to add it to this bacon dish right here. So just pour it in there, just like that, and nothing to it, just pour it in. Come on now, pour it in. Any day now. Okay, we're going to pour that in. Look how saucy this is, y'all. That's how I like my spaghetti. I like it with a lot of sauce. So we're going to add that in. Just make sure it's nice and even. Now I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese and just add it on top, just like so. And of course, all the measurement will be below for you guys as usual. And I wanna take this time to thank all of you guys who's been rocking with me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support, all the love. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you're still watching, you are the real MVP. Now I'm going to add some dry parsley on there. It's very optional. You don't really have to do that. Now I'm going to bake it on 350 for 30 minutes. And once it is done, y'all, I'm telling you, you have to try this out. You're going to want to eat this every single week. Ooh, baby, look how cheesy, look how beautiful this came out. I just love, 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 love this dish. I can eat it every day, honestly, but I hope you guys actually recreate this, this, this dish. I can't even speak this dish. It was so, so delicious. It is an awesome, literally 30, 40 minutes meal that you can make for dinner for your family. It's definitely comfort food right there. It's awesome. Try this out with your family and let me know how you like it.
Now here's the money shot. Ooh, it looks so cheesy. And yes, guys, it was super flavorful. I hope you guys try this out. Don't forget to thumbs it up for me if you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up, of course, because what? This video definitely deserves a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.